What is going on everybody? It is now 10.50 p.m. The night before we are going fishing. I am at Dallas Love Field Airport. I brought the boat, myself, my truck, and we are picking up a special guest that lives in Colorado. He is probably one of the most redneck people you will ever meet in your entire life, and his name is Outlaw is joining us for the next two days. We're going to be driving three and a half hours to East Texas to go fish two lakes that I've never fished in my entire life. So we're going to have to fish these lakes. I have no, I don't know really much about them at all. I've looked at them on a map. I've like kind of did a little bit of research. So I, I mean, I have a little bit of an idea of what I'm, what I'm getting into. I have no idea if those fish are still in spawning mode, post spawn, or if there's a mixture. So we're going to find out together for the next two days. But our goal for for this little trip extravaganza that we're doing is to get outlaw on the biggest bass of his life his biggest bass so far his pb is 5.5 pounds so that is what we got to be but i'm gonna i'm gonna hop off here real quick because i gotta pay attention to where i'm going because love field is a, is a very small airport to be bringing a boat um arrivals well it is now 2 35 in the morning we're just making it to the room a little bit of issue trying to find somewhere to plug the uh, the boat in, but it's all good. We'll be up here in a couple hours. Goal for tomorrow is to try to find some bedded fish. If they're bedded, get him on the biggest uh, bass of his life. What time are we going to wake up, dude? Two uh, hours? <laughs> <laughs> we got to get up. It's cold as hell here. I don't know what the hell's going on here. I wasn't expecting this, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. And, uh, So I just walked outside, took the rods, and it is so cold that my nipples instantly got so hard I could cut. I could probably cut through paper. Like, like if I were to take my nipple and put it on a piece of paper, I could have cut that shit in half. Oh, so cold. Hey, don't walk too close to me now. My nipples might <laughs> get Well, we are not the first ones here this morning, <clears throat> which isn't a big deal. It was kind of a little nippy this morning. I mean, cold, but we already got somewhat of an issue. <clears throat> got some trolling motor, uh, trolling motor. I got line. I don't have trolling motor line. I got line in the trolling motor. We got to get that out real quick. But look at this. That looks nice and tasty. Let's grab this line out though, so we don't mess this thing up. What are you doing? You guys never go anywhere anywhere without coffee and a, and a pistol. Never. It looks good this morning. God, look at this. This is this is nice looking. I might actually start off the morning with a frog. It's kind of warmed up quite a bit, probably about 10 degrees since we uh, got up this morning. Glass. What do you want to throw first? You tell me. Uh, or am I supposed to tell you? Top water rats. You want a rat, really? You want <laughs> do you have any? One? Yeah, I do. No, I'll throw a frog. <laughs> okay, we're gonna throw a frog, real quick. God, it looks so good. Maybe, maybe a chatterbait, yeah. Sanko. I just saw something getting right, pushed you, you up over there. Turn on. I'll throw the chatterbait. You throw the frog. Okay, that's what we we'll do. Do it. Okay, I think we might have found the color. I think this fish could be catchable. She's turning on it. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Outlaw and myself are working two bedded fish right now. This one on this side was a lot, just insanely timid, and now it's like, I think it's actually decently catchable. His is catchable for sure. His has already been nosing it and already picked it up, but it's been a, uh, ever since the sun's come up, we've been able to see these fish a lot better. Beforehand, it was like horrible. It was absolutely, we couldn't see a damn thing, but now we can actually see what we're doing. Oh, be tits. Sick as tits. Sick as tits. tits. Be tits money. Look how wild she is. There she goes. Look at, oh, she stopped instantly when I got it in there. Oh, knows it. Oh, got her. Got her. Holy crap. Yeah. Hot dang, dude. You like that? Just like that. Just like that. Oh. oh yeah, she's not bad. Nope. She ain't bad at all. Come on, calm down, calm down. Oh. There we go. First bed fish of the day for me. Oh, dude, she was pinned. Oh, she wasn't coming off. All right. First one, about a two and a half or so. Put it right back in there. Let's get it back on a bed. 
Go back to doing your duty. There she goes. Still working on this one. So I think we, we got somewhat of an idea of what's going on. Let's switch over to the good camera so you guys can actually look at my face. Okay, I feel a little bit more comfortable now. At the beginning, they were not wanting to even like, look, so this, this first fish we came up on, our first bedded set of fish, he's working on them as well, but they would not look at anything green pumpkin, watermelon red, anything of that nature. And then we flipped the white in there. Instantly, she turned around and stared right at it. And I was like, here we go. Freaking racist, man. Here, <laughs> what? Racist, Are you liking this bed fishing though? I'm digging Is it. Is it, you digging it? Yeah, it's fun. So Outlaw <clears throat> has never caught a bed fish in his entire life. So our goal for this weekend, like I was telling you guys last night when I was in the hotel, to catch a 5.5 or bigger and to put them on some bed fish and actually have him catch them himself. Like not me flipping in there, him catching it himself. Yep. So this guy's nose down on it right now. Is he? Uh-huh. Look at pop him. Pop it, pop it. It, woo, dude, he's so worked up. He's gonna catch the first bed fish of his life on this one for sure. We're gonna keep going down, throwing little tiny moving baits and flipping to see maybe we can get some, oh, we might be able to get some cool underwater footage as well. Cause this, this lake is clear. I love East Texas. She's on the bait? Yeah. Oh, dude, did Jeez. you see that? Oh my God, almost, <laughs> did you see that? Did I, almost, I saw the bait almost hit me. Oh, she grabbed the tail. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh got you got him! You got him! I got the mail. Oh yeah, just go and just get in the boat. Just get in the boat. Ah! <laughs> That's the mail. Holy crap! The, this dude comes out of freaking nowhere, man. You could. He was not coming off ever. <laughs> oh there you my go. gosh! What do you think about the first your first bed fish ever? Dude, it's so much fun. And people like underestimate this type of fishing, man. This is ridiculous. Hours, kind of deal. Hey, uh, there's a tree back there, boys. Um, I was waiting for you to say something. Well, <laughs> son of a bitch. God dang it. Okay, that's a log. But there is a fish on that bed, though. Oh no, I see him. It's a good bed. It's a good fish. There's two fish on there. I'm gonna try to catch this one. The one right there. But there's a, there's a second fish on it though. Do you see all these? It's crazy, dude. Like, isn't this crazy? Like, all morning we didn't see nothing and now we come back in here and it's just. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Looked right at it. See him? I just moved it just. No, he doesn't. He's backing off. I saw him coming on it. Circling. Yeah, he's back, he went up north. I keep calling it north, just the f top of the freaking bed. Oh! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh he's tricked me. <laughs> the little bastard tricked me. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he had it in his mouth, like fully. He did have it in his mouth, but not the way he wanted it. Maybe he'll eat it on this, this go around. This is perfect chop right here. If we would just stay like this for like five minutes, I think we can do it. Oh, he's nose dead to it. See ya. Yeah, got, him. got him. There we go, finally. Turn you. Got you, finally. Oh! Oh my god, dude. Got you, finally. That was my final I famous he didn't choke it. last words. Because he had it for a sec. It was a big one. No, at least it wasn't a big one. But what did I just say? I said, uh, oh, I got it. Yeah. Finally. You did. Damn it, dude. Outlaw's working a fish, so I just said, you know what? Let's pick up this, uh, pick up the old flipping stick and work this one who's got it in his mouth. We dropped it again. It's not a big fish, but you know what? I'm not going to sit here and just not do anything. So let's catch this one. Why not? I don't know. I think mine's uh, fighting in the welterweight division. Or lightweight. What's what's the smallest weight? Uh, featherweight. Featherweight. Yeah, yeah mine's well, bantamweight. Bantam. Look, mine, yeah. mine's a bantamweight. Look or at him. Flyweight. Look, look at him. Oh yeah. You see that? Yep. Flyweight. Flyweight. Okay. Yeah, my mine's a flyweight fish here. Or you can go boxing and go strawweight. That's like 115. So strawweight. Okay, strawweight. Yeah. Here we go. This is what we got here. We got a strawweight fish. Or you can just say it's a child. <laughs> 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 I think parakeet weighs around 112 or so. <laughs> yeah. Oh look. Oh. I just got myself deep with that hook. <laughs> you said parrot and then it happened. What's wrong with you? 
<laughs> oh, look, he's got it in his mouth. Look. Oh. <laughs> Dude, Dude, what is going on Dude. here? Oh. oh, that hurt. I'm going to bleed off that one. Oh, yeah, I already started. Got it? Oh, you got it. Got him. Got him. I originally wasn't even gonna mess with this one, but didn't feel like not fishing. Oh, all right. Well, that wasn't that was the most flawless uh, release, but he's been working this. Uh, it's about a two pound fish for a little while. He's just we really want to get him on bed fish, and uh, once we found one that's really good and locked, he's like he can't let it go. Can't. She just ate something. Oh, Look at her. She just did. she did. Look at her. She's eating right now. She's swallowing it. Yeah, I know. Look at her. Oh! Oh my! Yeah, he's wrapped. Oh my! Oh my! Dude! 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 He's gonna come off! He's gonna come off! Oh my god! No, I got him! Oh, I got him! That's on that giant swim bait. Ooh, that just that just that just got me going. Yeah, that just scared the crap out of me. Oh, oh yes, <laughs> dude! God damn! Look at that fish is eight. <laughs> Look oh, at that. <laughs> that giant swim bait. Right on that. This is my first big swim bait bass. I'm not kidding. I don't throw them very often. That's like a four and a half, three, four, four, five, seven, twelve. Okay. It is not completely lost. We got a uh, three and a half to four pound fish on a freaking swim bait. Oh, come on. There she goes. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, for some reason the power pole stopped working. That's that's not a good thing. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have like zero confidence in these and I just that that just got me pumped. That really just got me absurdly pumped, dude. Just watching it hit it like that. God, that was awesome. I'm gonna retie and maybe I might throw this and we're gonna continue to go down this. I'm still trying to find a freaking giant fish on a bed and it's just not happening. Ah. I'm somewhat disappointed in myself, but it's all good. Never fished this lake before. Tomorrow will be a new day. On a different lake. So you know, I was actually pretty, pretty freaking bummed to be honest with you. At the very, at the very end of the day, I was just like, I feel like today should have been a lot better. The only thing I could, I could really think of was, was maybe the weather. I don't know, bluebird sky. I, I, I don't know. I was thinking, God, either I suck or I don't know what's going on or what the hell is going. On. I, I just don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to chalk it up to the the reason why is because I've never been to this lake. That is not an excuse. For the most part, it's not really. It's not that big of a deal. But Flair told me that he went out and fished today and he did, it was horrible. It was just a bad day. Um, apparently they did really bad too on two different lakes. So I don't really feel nearly as bad. Maybe, maybe it really was the weather. I don't know. We're going to find out tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be cloudy. So anyway, it was cool getting out on his own. His, he's like, his, he caught his, I taught him how to bed fish today. He was able to catch his own, own bass. Like it was fun. It was, it was a good day. It was a learning experience for, for him and uh, in myself. Always, always learning if you're struggling on the water, so. Slides are good. Is this rod even attached to anything? So I don't normally do this. I don't normally like, leave a lake to go to a different lake, especially one that's two and a half hours north of this one. Outlaw flew down from Colorado to do bed fishing, and this lake is 1,000% I'm pretty positive it's it's almost all in, in post spawn because I've never seen this much fry on a lake in Texas so far this year and this one was just everywhere I was going was fry 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 and you can, of course you can catch bass um, on lakes that have that are in this kind of post spawn mode and usually it's fairly pretty good but he wants to catch bedded fish so I'm gonna drive two and a half no <coughs> two and a half hours north and see if that lake is in is <laughs> hopefully let's pray that it's not in post spawn because that is in well, we got to catch them a different way. 
What do you think? Think we'll be good to go? Yeah, dude, I think, I think it might be the right move. It's kind of weird moving at 11 o'clock in the afternoon, but I think we'll freaking do it. <laughs> we're gonna do it. You see all the beds we're going by? Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of beds. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Big old fish right here, right in front of me. To my right, look at it. Oh my gosh. See that? <gasps> this is probably the hardest bed fishing I've ever had to do so far this year. For sure, 100%. Yeah, it's so hard to see everything. Uh oh. Oh, does he have it? Yep, I think so. Yep. Set it, set it, set it! Oh, shit! Holy... No! Oh. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me! Oh, you... Got him! Yep. Oh, my goodness. I couldn't tell. They were both right now. Damn. Look at him. He's pulling drag. No yeah. Fucking huge. Boy. Oh, you guys are witness, 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 isn't it? Live. Look at this fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one, dude. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Just our freaking luck. So that, that seemed like to end, uh, end on a, an interesting note. You know, it, it might have seemed like that, that video was a little bit like just ended abruptly. Well, it did because, you know what, there was really no context throughout the entire day for the second day. But I wanted to show you guys that I have horrible days on the water as well. I, I mean, we left the first lake, drove two and a half hours to see if I can, maybe there'd be cooler water, maybe there'll be spawning. There was a little bit more, there was, of course there was more spawning fish on the, that second lake, but the first lake was 100% like all post-spawn. I think it was pretty much done. The second lake was on its way to being completely done. There might be a second wave or a third wave, I mean, something like that coming up here, but I don't know. I think East Texas is pretty much done when it comes to spawn fishing, or excuse me, bedded fishing. Yeah, but but you know what's a good thing? It's a good thing. I got to, I got to put Outlaw on his first bed fish ever, and he gets to kind of get a taste of it going into next year. But it's fine. You know why? Because this week we're going to Lake Chickamauga. We're going to be going after some bedded fish. Some more bedded fish. I like me some bedded fish. I might see some of you guys there in Chickamauga. If you guys are, if you guys are in that general vicinity, leave a comment below. I might do like a quick little meetup because it'll be me and Flair and one other person. Not going to name the other person yet. I'm going to let you guys figure it out. <sighs> yeah. Sorry it ended so abruptly, but you know what? It happens sometimes when you have horrible days on the water. But I will see you guys tomorrow with another episode with Lunkers TV. I just about poked my eye out there.